Hello everyone, this video is about Wilms tumor. Wilms tumor is a tumor of kidney. It's also known as nephroblastoma. It is the most common renal malignancy of children and it accounts for around 6% of all childhood cancer. It is also the second most common abdominal malignancy of children. The most common abdominal malignancy is neuroblastoma. But overall, most common malignancy in children is leukemia, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Most common solid tumor is astrocytoma, a type of brain tumor. So in Wim's tumor, what really happens is that there is proliferation of metanephric blastema. It is an embryonic structure that gives rise to structures from glomerulus to distal tubule. Those people with conditions such as horseshoe kidney, hypospadia, or cryptorchidism are at greater risk of developing Wim's tumor. Now coming on to the clinical features, the classical case of Wim's tumor presents as a young child, usually two to five years old, and there is no sex predilection. That means it occurs equally in both boys and girls. These children have huge, palpable, unilateral flank mass. It can be bilateral in 5-10%. to 10 Due to this huge abdominal mass, there can be abdominal pain. There can also be fever, nausea and vomiting. These patients can also present with hematuria, which is defined as more than 5 RBC per high power field in a testy voided 10 ml of centrifuge urine. They can also present with hypertension, which is due to renin secretion by Wim's tumor. Although patients with Wim's tumor present with hematuria and hypertension, the most common cause of hematuria and hypertension in children is nephritic syndrome. So if a child presents with hematuria and hypertension only, then suspect nephritic syndrome. But if they also have an abdominal mass, then it could be Wilms tumor. Here on the CT scan, you can see the tumor. And in the histology, you can see the proliferating metanephric blastema. The pathogenesis of Wilms tumor is that there is loss of function mutation of WT1 tumor suppressor gene which is found on chromosome 11p13 so chromosome 11 short arm p reason 1 and band 3 so in this chromosome there is wt1 tumor suppressor gene which undergoes mutation causing proliferation of metanephric blastema leading to wimps tumor some cases are familial but most of them are sporadic and may be part of a syndrome like Wager syndrome. So Wager syndrome, W stands for Wim's tumor, A for aniridia, absence of iris, G stands for genital abnormalities such as cryptorchidism and ambiguous genitalia, and R stands for mental retardation. However, nowadays we do not use this word retardation. Instead of it, we use restriction. So mental restriction. Wim's tumor and aniridia is due to mutation of WT1 gene on chromosome 11 p13. Genital abnormalities and mental retardation is due to mutation of Pax6 on the same chromosome. Next syndrome is beckwith Weidman syndrome. So here there is deletion of WT2 gene on chromosome. 11p15. So, in Wager syndrome, there is mutation of WT1 gene on chromosome 11p13. In Beckwith, there is mutation of WT2 gene on chromosome 11p15. It is a pediatric overgrowth disorder, such as organomegaly, huge, huge organs. Hemihyperplasia, one side is bigger than the other. Macroglossia, huge tongue, omphalocele. So it's a condition where the 
content of the abdomen such as intestines come out from the abdominal walls due to a defect. There can be creases on the ear lobe and this condition is associated with many embryonal tumors like Wimps tumor, neuroblastoma and rhabdomyosarcoma. Next is Denis Dress syndrome which is characterized by Wimps tumor, mesangial sclerosis and male pseudohermaphroditism. Now coming to the staging of Wimps tumor, stage 1 is when the tumor is confined to kidney and it can be completely excised. Stage 2, the tumor extends outside the kidney but still it can be completely excised. Stage 3 is the tumor is limited to abdomen and there is lymph node involvement. Stage 4 when there is presence of metastasis. So, stage 4 characterized by distant hematogenous metastasis and since there is metastasis, it is non-resectable. And talking about metastasis, liver metastasis is more common than lung metastasis. Stage 5 is when both the kidneys, bilateral kidney involvement. Now coming on to the investigation, urine analysis shows hematuria. Anemia seen in those with subcapsular hemorrhage, but some people who have prolonged gross hematuria can also present with anemia. But later on, as the disease progresses, the kidney starts producing so much of erythropoietin that this patient will develop polycythemia. So anemia on early stage and polycythemia on the later stage. Abnormal serum chemistries if there is liver metastasis. USG shows abdominal mass. CT scan shows mass on the abdomen. And MRI is done to know the extent of the tumor. The differential diagnosis of Wimps tumor are neuroblastoma. It is also an abdominal malignancy of children. And unlike that of Wimps tumor, it arises from the knob cells and it usually crosses the midline. Hydronephrosis, it's not even a tumor. It is swelling of the kidney due to obstruction of the urinary passes. Cystic kidneys such as PKD, polycystic kidney disease, and then mesoblastic nephroma. It is also a renal malignancy in children, but it is usually seen in children less than two years old mostly in neonates and infants. Now finally, coming to the treatment section. The treatment of Wimps tumor depends on extent of spreading of the tumor. Combination therapy is the preferred one, which includes surgery and chemotherapy. We can start with either of these, whether surgery done first or chemotherapy done first. The result is gonna be the same. The surgery is nephrectomy, we remove the kidney and on chemotherapy, if there is favorable histology, we give vincristin and actinomycin D or dactinomycin. But if the histology is unfavorable, that is there is anaplasia such as hyperchromatic polymorphic nucleus or number of mitotic figures are seen, then we give vincristin, doxorubicin cyclophosphamide and etoposide. So that's it for Wim's tumor. Thank you.